You might have seen the ads that promise Spokane Schools proposed bond and levy won't cost you any more money. Turns out those ads aren't true and it's a mistake that could cost homeowners hundreds of dollars. Spokane Public Schools is asking you to approve a new levy and bond. The campaign pushing for a yes vote on those two proposals has claimed for weeks that, if approved, it won't raise your taxes. But today, KXLY4 learned that may not be true. Tonight, a KXLY4 reality check. Our Eric Loney is live with us now to break down the controversy. And Eric, it's a pretty big mistake. When you look at the numbers, yes, it could be. Now, let's go to the board. If you owe 100, own a $100,000 house, you are paying the district $148 a year for the bond and $286 towards the levy. Now, the proposed levy, what they're asking voters to approve, is asking for a maximum of $196 per $100,000 on the bond and $356 for the levy. Now, the campaign ads say it won't cost you more than you're already paying. However, if you do the math, and if the rate is added at its maximum, which we're not sure it will be, it could cost you $48 more for the bond and $70 more for the levy per $100,000 a year, more than you're currently paying. The upcoming bond and levy renewals are so very important to the health and safety of Spokane's kids. Television ads like this one ask voters to approve Spokane Public Schools renewal levy and bond. The ads explain the bond will replace and modernize schools and upgrade technology, and the levy will fund programs and extracurricular activities. That part's true, but the ad is misleading when it talks about levy rates. The renewal levy is actually lower than what we're paying now. That is not true. The renewal levy is proposed at $356 for every $100,000 of your home's assessed value. That's $70 more than the current levy of $286 per $100,000. And then the ad continues. The renewal bond is at the same rate as we've paid since 2003. That, too, is not true. The proposed bond is $196 for every $100,000 of your home's value, but tax records show the levy rate has fallen from $194 down to $148 in the past six years. So the pro's bond could be about $50 more. The group Citizens for Spokane Schools is responsible for the ads, not the school district. The district did not approve them. Barb Chamberlain is the group's co-chair. This is definitely a lesson to me as a taxpayer as well as a volunteer to just go back and do the math one more time. Did you intentionally mislead people? Oh, no, absolutely not. Our focus is to talk about what the dollars do. Chamberlain admits the ads could be considered misleading. It does not cost you any more than you're already paying. It's not an accurate statement. It's an honest, enthusiastic statement. She says they will do a much better job the next time. We're definitely look, going back and looking at everything we created and how we could word that much more carefully to make sure that voters have good information. We do want them to understand why they should vote yes. But what you said was wrong in some places and not others. Now, Spokane Public Schools want people to make sure that they, uh, that they want people to make sure that, that you understand that what is approved is not always what you'll be paying. Here's the example from the past three years. Voters approved a 3.69, but what they paid was 316. Now, in last year, they could have gone as high as 375, but stayed at 286. And the district wants people to know that they need the levy and the bond. Reporting live, Eric Loney, KXY4 HD News.